<laughs> Alright, so today we're going to be talking a little bit about getting stuff unstuck from these extensions. I know I always, when we go and buy things from like Harbor Freight or Lowe's or different kind of things that has those, those like plastic connectors that there's a lot of times when I'm trying to take them off, that gets stuck inside of them, the actual piece that holds it on. And there's a lot of times that I have a lot of trouble on trying to figure out how to get those, what's the best way to get those off. Well, I'm going to show you today kind of a real easy way to get it off. So we're going to start with a set of one of the Cornwell, basically smaller needle nose pliers. This one works really, really well because those tight and small fingers or prongs, whatever you want to call them, those up here with them being as small as they are, they fit really well in those corners. So that's one way that you can get it out that's real well. So I'm going to show you how to do that. Okay, so what I'm going to show you first is kind of how I would, what I start about going to do this. So what I do first is I take this and I set it inside of the those bits right there where those corners are where the socket sinks in and kind of squeeze and then just work around the socket a little bit try to sink it in deep a little bit and squeeze so that way you can get it pried away from the sides a little bit and then give it a twist and it comes right out that's one of the easiest ways to get those end pieces out when you get them stuck like that so then that way you don't damage the socket you don't damage the extension in this case and it's not hard to get out it doesn't take a lot of time or a lot of different tools so i hope that helps the next time you get one of these stuck inside of your socket extension whatever you're dealing with for some extra people that have a lot of trouble getting those out as you can see I got one out that's stayed intact. So what you want to do in this case for these Pittsburgh half inch drive impact extensions, you want to take your extension and your piece, hold it sideways or however you like, and you just have to wiggle it. This one's a little smaller, so it might be a little harder, but you just want to try to wiggle it back and forth and then try to see if you can do that and pull it out at the same time. I'm going to see if I can do that. kind of work it and then it comes out so that's both ways of how to get them unstuck from this as you can tell there's nothing left in there just set that to the side and I've had two that came out broken and two that didn't so to not to do it where you just pull them off you want to turn them sideways especially for these ones from Harbor Freight you take these Take the socket and just kind of wiggle it back and forth and pull down as you're doing it. So that way this doesn't break off at the at one of these rivets and it comes right off. But if you do break it off like that, once again, you can use these. These again are those Cornwell pliers that we use a lot. They work the best. They were better than some of the other needle nose pliers that we had. But in, re in any aspect, needle nose pliers should work fine but if you have these or any real fine toothed or fine angled needle nose pliers they would work just as well so i hope that helps you guys the next time that you go to open a set of extensions or sockets